Chris Evans, I'm Nick Zaroya, and we want to thank you for tuning in to BTN Plus for today's matchup. At the opening face, we've got Justin Wheatfelt against Luke Weirman. Starter, the only starting changes in either lineup today is that Grant McCurry starts at midfield for Michigan, and Ryan Schreiber will start down low in place of Zach Johnson. And Michigan gets the ball off of a quick violation. There, surrounded by Gavin Legg and Michael Cosgrove, the local product out of Brother Rice. And as good as Luke Weirman has been this year, he has, you know, he has shown that it, it, against a hot hand, he can struggle, but definitely taking that next step this year, really becoming an elite player instead of just a very relevant player as he wins that face off in Michigan. It's the Michigan defense to pick up and pass through the zones, um, definitely hard for a defense to do. Yeah, Keegan Kahn with his 14th goal of the season. And as you were saying, Michigan, the way that their rotation works, it does kind of struggle against uh, a 1-4-1 like that right there, where they can take an advantage and not let Maryland get that unit out on the field. Yeah, we talked about it again earlier. Lots of shots. Number two in the nation, Michigan is. Weirman wins the face off. Great trail check there, but Wisnowskis, nope, that's very competitive early, but I told you last night, we're not sure how long they can hold out against the depth and speed and more or less the IQ of this Maryland team is weird. Definitely shows some of the youth on that Michigan defense. I think they have great expertise in the net, but you look with those defenders and that defense's cohesion, you gotta mm. be ready to slide early to his nose. And there we see Weirman against Rowlett for the first time, and, and Rowlett was trying to goose it out and accidentally goosed it to the Maryland player, so. Uh, again, Coach Tillman talked about it. One of the areas they'd like to improve upon is clearing, and we've seen the detriment of that in the first uh, quarter here as we have a 3-2 game with Maryland leading. Yeah, we fell against Weirman again. The W battle continues. We've got a legal procedure on Weedfeld going back to Maryland. And White moves early, meaning Justin Weedfeld with a violation there. Harvard, Notre Dame, Johns Hopkins, all those recent losses, uh, they've been even, even keeled in uh, face-off matchups or they've lost them and we're starting to see how that can really cause problems for Michigan when they're not winning face-offs. Yeah, and, and we've seen them. It looks like they win the clamp, but sometimes it looks like they're getting out-athleted on the wings. And luckily, Michigan's able to wrap. Great shot placement um, by the offense there. And it looks like we'll have Rowlett and Weirman out there. And Rowlett with a clean win to himself. Maybe not so clean. And he almost tripped the Maryland attackman into coming out of the box because he thought he had possession. But after, you know, we're going to clean this up and the referee. Weirman with a clean win and a step. And he, you know, shades of the last year's national championship. And he, he buried it this time, making it 7-3 Maryland as Weirman takes one all by himself. That's his sixth goal of the season. He came into the game at a 68% clip, and I, I have to assume he's just about that right now. We're going to go ahead and check a little update for the Weirman fans on the faceoff battle. Yeah, he's 7 for 11, so I believe he's 66%. Or 68%? Who knows, as they win another faceoff. Yeah, we just talked about the keys to the game earlier in the game, and faceoffs was a huge part of the game. Defensive possession very badly at the moment. Yeah, I would say so. This is a big faceoff here. Uh, I would anticipate a timeout coming, if not, um, or maybe if they can get the ball really setting up an offense that they want to do. Stop the bleed here. Oh, I'm sure Coach Conrad wants one, but don't forget, he's already bailed his team out of two turnovers <laughs> by taking his two timeouts for the first half. But at least he loses his stick, but we've got a procedure call, and it's going Michigan's way. I'm a midfielders involved. We talk about Zawada and that uh, attack group a lot, but you know, guys like Aronson need to get more involved, especially if they can get those short stick matchups. You don't want to be messing with the poles of Maryland too much. Rowlett wins it clean and is immediately hassled by Wisnowskis and Weirman and draws the penalty with a push of some sort. And I believe it's going on Wisnowskis. 
which I'm sure he, it's not on the stat sheet, but I know. He knows what they're doing when it comes to lacrosse. Uh, Bame talked about it in a recent uh, with Carcaterra a podcast. With oh, yeah, Carcaterra. Relaxing with Peacock. Yeah, Relaxing with Peacock, and he talked about it. He's been a Michigan fan his whole life, even though he's an Ohio native. So he's excited to be here. His sister gets extra man offense and how impressive that was. And we see it right down at the other end with Maryland being able to have that head up, look for, you know, like a quarterback and really read the defense and find that open man in space. And Rowlett continues with these big clamp wins where he throws it back almost into, into the restraining box. Yeah. But Welcome back to Ann Arbor. Maryland leads 9-5 in today's matchup between the Michigan Wolverines and the number one Maryland Terrapins. Unanimous number one for weeks now. Chris, what does Michigan or what are some stats that stand out to you and what does Michigan have to do to get back into this game? Yeah, so we look at unforced turnovers, you know, Michigan definitely needs to improve upon throwing the ball and take care of that. Terrapins, unanimous number one for weeks now. Chris, what does Michigan or what are some stats that stand out to you and what does Michigan have to do to get back into this game? Yeah, so we look at unforced turnovers, you know, Michigan definitely needs to improve upon throwing the ball and take care of that. Beautiful feed there from Weirman to the LSM, John Geppert. And Geppert with that awkward long stick shot that is hard for goalies to track. Weirman and, and Geppert, amongst others, Fairman, whoever's out there, they, they completely trust this. Like right now, and he's looking to shoot. Yeah. Defense the game and stay positive. The game. Yeah. As Rowlett is able to pull this one off. And it looks like Rowlett maybe has the advantage today, especially when he get clean. Yeah. You know, we talked about it early on here. Is you can't have that one person saying that they're the hot slide. So what happens is it allows those one-on-one -on -one dodging situations that we just saw right there. And Cosgrove was left on an island with no help. Weirman wins it, but then immediately that's Jackson Zaw creating the turnover, goosing it back to the defense. It's 13-5 here, Maryland leading. Nick Rowlett, Luke Weirman on the faceoff. Rowlett able to get get that number swaying back in Michigan's favor now. He's nine for, or Michigan is now nine for 21, just a little bit below 500. Make next year interesting as Bryce Clay returns and they don't graduate anyone in the attack line. Weirman going down the alley again. Shane Carr needed that one because honestly, well, I don't think we've seen him make a save in a little bit here. Yeah, it also moves those slide points of where these guys are supposed to be sliding to. So whenever you can move off ball, you need to do so. Rowlett, again, another clean win to himself, looking for help. Zog didn't want it, gets it anyway, and Zog finds... He went back to that up-top sweeps look. I think Coach Connery saw the success of it on the previous offense possession. He was trying to go back to it again there. And here you see Rowlett not immediately subbing off after he loses. Maybe a little bit one or two times there, and, and honestly, Michigan just got kind of lost. And it's hard not to, honestly. It is very difficult. Weirman again with another faceoff win, pushing. And he'll retreat. You, you kind of just expect your goalie to make that save. Yeah, that's a tough one. Uh, definitely some good movement off ball from Maryland, and Michigan was able to match up with it and close out pretty well, but that's just a great shot by an experienced player. Great ground ball there by Mirez. He's chased down from behind. That's going to be a push on Puglisi. Cohen picks release with that other hand shot, but instead of going for the worm burner low, he took it a little bit higher on the goalie. Again, young players changing the plane on your shots. So important when we're shooting, right? Mixing it up on those goalies so they can't track it every time. Exact same shooting stroke as before, but this time just a little bit more follow through. And very hard for goal. 30 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Rowlett and Weirman absolutely trading punches here at the faceoff dot. And Rowlett able to win it again. And he's looking like the Rowlett we've seen when he's completely 18 to 9 as we start the fourth quarter. Chris, what have you kind of noticed about Michigan's offense so far? Yeah, it's very attack centric. Uh, you know, most of their points have come through the attack group, um, with the exception of Aronson's two goals on the day or two points on the day. Um, so, you know, something we talked about, you mentioned before, is the young midfield unit of Michigan being key in, in areas where they need to improve. 
pinpoint one person to focus on. You've seen even today their scoring distribution has been throughout, and that's such a hard part for defenses to stop. Weirman gets one back, gives it down to Murphy. Maryland content to slow things down. Gets well, I'd say stick with the hot hand. Zawada, uh, Aronson, get that ball back to them. Hopefully Rowlett here can win one and get it back to that offense. Weirman wins it clean over to the LSM. John Gepper. Gepper, if you remember from earlier, if you're Maryland, Logan Wisnowskis has three goals, three assists for six points. Keegan Kahn has three goals, three assists for six points. Jonathan Donville, he also has a hat trick and an assist for four points. And then Owen Murphy with four goals. So they have four guys with at least a hat trick today. We'll see if Rowlett can win it clean over to Jackson Zog or if he'll just win it to himself. Weirman, great, or it's not, it's not Weirman. It's Gavin Ty from the transfer from Virginia who's one for one today in the most impressive time. Man down faceoff who started most of the season last year in net for Michigan. And Shane Carr's day is done. That might be just as much for Shane Carr's ego as it is to, you know, switch up things for Michigan here. Not really his fault. No reason to put him through this any longer. The defense isn't going to be there to help him out. I mean, you know, he was about 50% against Rowlett. Gavin Ty just gives a different look, and he's one for one so far. Again, definitely shows the prowess of that yeah. Maryland coaching staff looking to throw different A little bit of gamesmanship, if you will. Rowlett able to win that one clean, and the key here will be to sub off as quickly as possible.